County Final. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Um, my name is Angie Neelis and I'm the Area Manager for Essex and I've really enjoyed seeing all the, um, all the hard work that the students have put in this year, in this very, very difficult year. I think it's amazing some of the things that they've overcome. Um, the judges today were very impressed too, but they'll be here later to tell you about it. So, this is the agenda for, our, for this afternoon. So we're going to have a welcome, first of all, from Trevor Briggs from the Essex Local Volunteer Team. Um, some of you may not be aware about the um, local volunteer teams that we have in the background who are helping, and um, Trev's here that, <laughs> below. Um, so that's what we're going to start with this evening. Then we're going to meet the judges and the student companies. I'm going to tell you what awards are available this evening and uh, this afternoon. We're going to tell you a bit about No Time Like the Future, so it's um, Young Enterprises vision for the coming years. We're going to see the student presentations and then we are going to announce, we, the judges are going to join us to announce the award. So first of all, I'm going to start off by um, welcoming Trevor and asking him to give a welcome to the students. Hi Angie, thanks. And Can you hear me okay? Yes, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, welcome everybody. So firstly, congratulations uh, for getting this far. Um, I hope you've all had a fantastic experience. Um, as I guess there's a, a couple of things that, that come to mind uh, here. There's a couple of quotes um, that come to mind. I, I guess the first one um, is that the only constant in life is change. So every year we talk about how the world changes and how the teams are so good at adapting to that change. Uh, and this year, as, as you all know, has been truly exceptional. Um, you know, we've seen the most change in society that anyone has ever seen. Um, and the second quote is, uh, in the midst of, of chaos, there is also opportunity. Um, and that's a quote by Sun Tzu, uh, apparently. And what we've seen played out through this competition is the perfect example of that. So with so much upheaval, there will always be winners and losers. Uh, and you guys are very clearly the winners, you know, to get this far. So you'll have seen that there's some very big companies out there that have failed in the last year, whereas you guys have seized the opportunity uh, provided with consumers with some uh, fantastic new uh, goods or services um, and made some money along the way and uh, hopefully had a great experience. So good luck. Be interesting to go through this process to, to hear the results. Um, and Angie, I'll, I'll kind of wrap up at the end with another quick comment, if you don't mind. Lovely. We'd be look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, Trent. Thanks, Angie. So, so here are our judges. I'm not going to read out all the information on the slides because we're going to send them through to you afterwards so you can um, you can read for yourself and see who's been judging you this afternoon. Christine, you didn't get to meet in your interviews uh, because unfortunately she couldn't join us but she has had the recordings of the interviews and has seen them. She, along with the other two judges, so Christina and our other judge, Sarah, have been looking through all your company reports. They've seen your presentations and they interviewed you this afternoon and enjoyed that very much, I must say. They're all very impressed with what you've been, how much you've achieved. Um, Whoops, sorry. So, oh, can oh. I'm sorry, a little technical hitch there. Slides aren't moving on for some reason. Sorry, this happened to me before as well. So, 
Now to meet the student companies this afternoon. So we have Team Silver Linings from Westcliff High School for Boys. We have uh, Mosaic from Colchester Royal Grammar School. The Coffee Box from Brentwood School and Memory Lane also from Colchester Royal Grammar School. So these teams this evening have all, this is the second round of the competition for them. So they all entered a showcase event and managed to come through to the Essex County final. So well done all of you, you're all winners already. These are the awards that are available this afternoon. So the Digital Skills Award, Teamwork Award, Best Presentation, Sustainability and the Best Overall Company in Essex. The Best Overall Company will go through to the London and Essex final later this month. And this time, the winner will be able to update their uh, company report and presentation if they wish to. Um, but we'll send out packs to give you all the information that you need about that. So I'd just like to play you this short video um, about Young Enterprises' vision for, for the coming couple of years.
So at this point, I'd just like to remind you about the alumni network that we have and um, that it's, it, there are real benefits to keeping in touch with us afterwards. Um, I hope Trev won't mind me saying that Trev um, was involved in Young Enterprise a few years ago and also Sarah, who's one of our judges today, she was also, she's also a Young Enterprise alumni. So we really love people to keep in touch and we hope you'll think about doing so. So before we go on to the awards ceremony, I'd just like to say a huge thank you um, to all the um, all the people in the background, uh, the local uh, volunteer boards and your centre leads and your business advisors who have all helped you through this journey. And now we're going to see your presentations. So do we have somebody from Team Silver Linings who can come and introduce your team, please? Hi, hi, yeah, that's me. Uh, Hello, there's Tony. Hello, yeah, my name's Tony and I'm the uh, MD of TSL. I'll just read out our company bio quite quickly. So, we are TSL. Our mission is to, is to deliver a swift, effective, is to deliver swift, effective and affordable stationery to those who just like us were once facing the daunting prospect of exams. We plan to spread the power of positivity to the world and hopefully leave our, customer, our customers with a smile. Throughout our journey, we've managed to overcome adversity, challenges and COVID-19 to put together a product which we are all proud of. As MD, I am thoroughly proud of what myself and my team have been able to achieve. And all of us at TF TSL hope that our pride and, passions for, pride and passion for enterprise has been adequately reflected in our product. We feel like Team Silver Lining has found the silver lining. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tony. That's great. So, Team Silver Linings presentation. Hi, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be taking you through the TSL presentation.
Thank you, Team Silver Linings. That was lovely to hear from you. So, moving on uh, to Mosaic. Do we have somebody from Mosaic to come on and introduce your team to us, please? Hi, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. Hello, Thomas. Hello. Um, yeah, so we are Mosaic, a student-run company from Colchester Royal Grammar School. A study conducted by The Guardian in 2020 concluded that one third of children in the UK have heard racist comments at school. Mosaic's mission is dedicated to creating key tools to help achieve greater cultural awareness amongst younger generations by targeting discrimination at its root. Our main goal is to encourage racial harmony and greater cultural awareness by teaching young children about different cultures from around the world. Through our interactive children's book with an online aspect, we also aim to improve literacy skills, which following the COVID-19 pandemic have taken a hit in key stage two. Our core values include diversity and inclusion, ensuring all team members are able to voice their opinions. Another of our key values is commitment because dedication to the company has been paramount to producing a book that encompasses all of our goals. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thomas.
So do we have somebody here from the coffee box, please? Thank you very much, my sake. Uh, hello there. Hello. Okay. Here at the coffee box, our job is to provide a luxury service, bringing the joy of coffee to your home. We created two boxes, a standing gift box and a Valentine's box, and we use Christmas and Valentine's Day as our main opportunities for selling. Our initial aim was to make a profitable and sustainable business for the future. Due to our teamwork and management skills, we have achieved these goals as we reached a revenue of £3,200 and 1705 being profit. This has allowed us to extend this journey into the foreseeable future. We have used responsibly sourced materials and we wanted to help our local community during these tough times and so support our local food bank with donations of coffee and biscuits to benefit the wider community. It has been a valuable experience for all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Harrison. Thank you, Coffee Box. So, Memory Lane, last but not least. Do we have anyone from Memory Lane here, please? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello, yes, thanks, Max. Hello. Perfect. Hey, so, um, I'm Max and I'm the MD from Memory Lane um, from CRGS. 
Uh, but Memory Lane, our aim is to bring generations together and we do this through our product, which is a personalised memory book um, that captures stories and memories for elderly people. Um, we've had really we've had good success, um, but I think our team's greatest accomplishment uh, has been an impact on families and the local community. And um, with over two million words we've entered across all customers, which is uh, double the complete works of Shakespeare. Um, I think the best way to sum up Memory Lane is we're about bringing together generations, one story, one book, one family at a time. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Matt. Thank you, Memory Lane. So they were all very, very impressive. Um, it's just so amazing to see what you've all been doing. 
but now the part that you've all been waiting for, um, the award ceremony. So for this part of the session, I'm going to hand over to our judges, please, if you're there. Would you mind putting your cameras on and unmuting yourselves? Hello. Hi, Angela. Hi. Hello, Christina. Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Right. Great, should we get started? Yeah, so um, uh, before we announce the winners, we just wanted to say a huge well done to every single one of you to get into this point. Um, reading through the reports that you sent, as well as hearing um, your presentations and speaking to you guys as well in the interviews, it is so evident how passionate you are about your business and also really clear that you've all faced challenges that have, you've had to overcome to get to this point. So really well done. And it was also really great to hear what you've learned uh, about yourself and what you've discovered of what really makes a business successful. Now, as someone also who did uh, Young Enterprise uh, when I was at school, and let me tell you that my business did not do anywhere near as good as you guys. We did not get to award stage. Um, what I can tell you is that what I learned was actually the most valuable part of the whole experience. I know that it will help you guys go far in whatever you choose to do. So with that said, uh, we're going to get started on the, the awards. And the first one we're going to um, look at is the digital skills. So we chose the winner because of their attention to detail when it came to understanding their customers' needs and translating that uh, to the digital user interface and experience. And they not only made it easier for customers to use their product, but also automated the whole service, making it scalable for the future. So the winner of the Digital Skills Award goes to Memory Lane. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I'm presenting the next award. Um, I'm sorry I missed the interviews, but um, I've watched them and I've also read your reports, which were really good and very innovative. And you've done a really good job, so you should be proud of yourself, yourselves. Um, so for this award, which is a teamwork award. We chose this comp this company because they implemented a unique technique of improving their communication when they faced communication challenges. They also really listened to each other when they worked as a team, which allowed for improved and cohesive teamworking. And the winner of the teamwork award is uh, Mosaic. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay, next one is the Best Presentation Award. So this was a really tough category because there were some really strong presentations as we all just saw. Um, so this company, like the others, had presented very clearly and concisely and utilized engaging video techniques to make their presentation come to life. Um, but what really impressed us was their storytelling, how they were able to use data and wording to really put their message across in such a powerful way. So the winner of the Best Presentation Award is Memory Lane. Thank you. <laughs> and then we got the Sustainability Award. So what was really great to see was that most of the businesses that presented had really thought about sustainability, but it also meant it was a little bit hard to think about who this award should go to. Now, we chose the winner not just because they had sustainability kind of integrated into the business methodology, but because, that the, because of the way that they responded to support the community in times of real hardship. So the winner of the Sustainability Award goes to Coffee Box. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Finally, we've got the overall um, company Essex Award. And I just want to say that the standard of every single one of the presentations was, was so good. Um, and what was really interesting for us to see is that, but also not surprising, was that all the challenges that you experienced had to do around working in a team, which is actually you know, the most common challenge in startups and large companies. 
and the techniques that you've utilized and what you've learned about yourselves is going to carry you through these challenges in the future. So it's so great that you've learned these things now. A big well done to all of you. And all of us were saying um, when we were discussing the, the awards that we really hope that you will continue with the companies that you've created. Um, so overall company Essex. Really strong contenders across the board, uh, but one company really stood out to us for having thought about so many different aspects of, of, their, of their business and its growth potential as well. We felt that this solution was the most innovative and that the team had really thought about what was important to measure. And even though a lot of technology was involved, they did not forget about the customer, which is so crucial. So the winner of the overall Company Essex Award is... Memory Lane, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congrats, guys. Oh, judges, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know how how difficult your um, your deliberations were. And so I really thank you all for your time and energy this afternoon and your enthusiasm. Um, students, I really hope that you will um, continue uh, because you have until the 31st of July um, and I'd just like to say well thank you to everybody and um, last closing words to Trevor. Thanks Angie. Thank you. Um, Angie so you've thanked everybody else but I think we should be thanking you now. Um, so uh, you've you've done an awful lot of work here guys what you don't see is there's a a whole lot of work that goes into organizing and coordinating these events every one of them has been really slick so angie congratulations and thank you for for doing that um secondly huge congratulations to memory lane what a fantastic product um I just hope the experience that you've had is as good as the product that you've got. Uh, and just some closing, uh, my closing advice here is is to take huge pride uh, in what you've achieved, especially in the last year. You know, celebrate um, and really know that if you can do what you've done in this year, um, with the year that we've just had, I think you can pretty much do anything. Um, and with the, the the young enterprise experience, you guys are really all set to be really successful in not only business, but in life. So uh, congratulations, enjoy, and Angie, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.